guess how to do it this way. <laughs> okay, so there's a lot going on here besides the sheep shearing with Kevin's right hand. With his left hand, he's making sure that the wrinkles get out of the sheep's skin so that he's got a smooth surface to shear without nicking the sheep. He's going to do the forelock on Bossy's head there. Now he's getting ready to reposition her. He holds her with his leg. He's going to come up the neck to get the fleece off there with the long stroke. There we go. Her wool is a little gummy. This is the New Zealand method of sheep shearing. It's done the world over. It's uh, developed to be a very efficient way of getting the fleece off the sheep in pretty much one continuous piece uh, while making it an efficient way for the shearer to hold and shear the sheep. It looks like the sheep's kind of just sitting there, but a lot of that is the skill of the shearer holding it. Here Kevin's keeping his left leg under that sheep's bottom right shoulder. He keeps her leg and shoulder off the ground. She can't get up. This is Bossy. She's one of our six-year-olds. The orange mark in the middle of the neck on her fleece is something we spray. I'm going to change positions here. When we bring the ewes and the lambing pens with their babies before we turn them back out and get everybody weighed and identified, we spray an orange mark on the mother and it shows that she's already lamb. And that part of the little orange part of the fleece was just discarded. So once again, Kevin knows how to handle the sheep's legs and its body to uh, reduce any wrinkling, to stretch out the skin, to make it a nice smooth course for the shearing blades. Look at that pretty job. And the fleece on the sheep's a lot cleaner down next to her body than it is out in the weathered tips. Now he's changing position again. And I'm going to get ready to end this recording so I can get onto my hoof trimming and get ready to turn Bossy out. <laughs>